so today I just filmed this makeup look. It's a bit different for me, especially with the chunky glare, but I actually really like how it turned out. So yeah, I know I just did a cut crease, but who doesn't love a good cut crease? So yeah, um, yeah, um, oh, I'm so like awkward, just an awkward person. But let me know what videos you want to see next. And if you see any like makeup looks on Instagram, Twitter, anything, just tag me or DM me them. My tan's really patchy as well, ignore that. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, if you want to know how I create this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So for all the crease colours, we're going to be using Makeup Geek um, eyeshadows. They're only like five, six pound a pan. So yeah um i'm just gonna take the matte white just to set my lid and then i'm gonna be taking a martha m30 it's just like a big fluffy brush and for the crease colors i don't want them to be too warm because of the color we're gonna be putting on the lid i want them to be like neutral so um <laughs> Oh my eyeshadow's like warm. I'm just gonna use this orange shade. It's chickadee. I know I didn't want to like use one, but all the colours we're gonna be using are a lot darker, so I need something to like make and blend. So we're just gonna take chickadee from Makeup Gear. I've decided I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer because I know this is like more like cool toned but well, at least it shows up that way on your face but I'm going to be taking the shade Latte this oh, just it. <laughs> this is a more cool toned brown so should hopefully like get rid of the warmthness in my crease So I'm going to take this really warm brown shade in the shade Cabin Feather. Feather. <laughs> Feather. I'm going to take it on my Morphe M506 brush. Just focusing that real like in the crease just to make it dark. And then to cut my crease, I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tip. Mine's in the shade Fair Beige. It's like so light. I, I struggle to use it. Ah, that's for her. I struggle to use it on my face because of how light it is. But for the eyes, like cut creases, doing your brows and like for your base, it's such a nice shade. So I'm just going to take it on my Royal Amand Nicol Large Concealer Brush. I'm just going to carve up my crease. Now that I've cut my crease, I did like a full cut crease. The lid shade we're using is the Helene Cosmetics Aqua eyeshadow and it's literally just like this gorgeous turquoise and has a bit of sparkling as well. Not really something I'd go for all the time, but it's so pretty. Taking a Sigma short shade E20 brush. You can use the code AMB for money off. I don't really know what to do with that eye, so I pretty much just did the other eye of camera and also added glitter liner. We are going to add glitter in the inner corner as well, but I'm going to do that after I've finished my first makeup. Just then I'm going to put my foundation on top of my glitter, if that makes sense. So the glitter I'm using is the Makeup Italia Paris uh, Diamond Eyeliner. I get so many questions asking about this because I always use it. But yeah, you can get it online. I think you just like type it in on Google. I'm then taking Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek. As you can tell, I used to love this so much. I still do, I just prefer like the really white brow bone highlight, but. I 
And then we are just gonna move on to the face, but I'm just gonna take a towel and just like wipe away like the edges. Cause I don't want to like cut it, if that makes sense. I just want it to blend. So for primer, I haven't used this in ages. It's the Nivea Postman Shaving Balm. Some people comment tell me it's bad for my skin. I've never had an issue with it though, so I don't use it all the time anyway, so it's not as if you know. And then for foundation, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Light Beige. Look how bad my tan is. I've had it on for like a week. Ignore that. Um, I haven't used it in a long time and I just see a lot of people using it, so I want to use it. I'm actually going to cut Vaseline everywhere. I'm actually just going to put it on with my beauty blender. This is actually clean. Like, I clean mine every time before I use it, but it's just really stained. Unless it needs like a full deep clean, I don't know. But... It is actually a really nice foundation. I forget how much I love it. And then for foundation I'm using, this has become my fave recently, especially with this shade. It's the uh, Maybelline Instant Ivory. So, and the shade neutralizer, it's like a pure yellow and I love it. And then to bake my face and say I'm also, also, I'm going to be taking the airspun powder. I got mine from Amazon, so I'm just using that. I'm going to use two products for like bronze and slash contour. I might just mix them together and just like do what I always do. But I've got the Makeup Forever, <laughs> Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion and then Benefit Hula. So yeah, I haven't used this in a long time. You know what? I'm actually going to fully, I'm actually going to like contour contour today. I don't usually, I just usually bronze. But taking my contour brush, this is a fake NARS brush. Brush, brush, brush. NARS. This is a fake NARS brush off eBay for a pound, but I got it years ago, so I don't know if they're still selling that. I am not paying £42 for that, and this is never shredded or anything. It's literally been like the best makeup brush buy I've ever got. Vitamin C drink. I actually love these. I like them um, little vitamin C like orange caps and you just put it in water. But I love the taste. And for highlight, I'm taking the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. I love this. And then I'm actually gonna, I do use this sometimes, but I prefer my other one, but I'm gonna give it a go. The Morphe M310 Fan Brush. Okay. I'm gonna do is go in with that dark brown shade that we used in the crease and I'm just gonna use it to smoke out my low lash line. You should know by now I'm so lazy when it comes to low lash line, I'll just put a colour on and just done. I'm gonna take this like giant pencil brush and go in with a bit of that chickadee what we used as the first transition colour. What have I just done? I'm then just gonna take the uh, Too Faced glitter glue and I'm gonna put on, I want to use this chunky one. Or do I use the little one? I might put this chunky one on. It's the Helene Confetti glitter, it's literally like Chunky and holographic. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh. I 
And then I'm just gonna go off camera and apply mascara and also a pair of Bambi lashes from Ambrose Lashes and I'll be right back. Now that the lashes are on, everything's coming together. So we're just gonna do the lips. I don't, I don't know what to use for the lips. I have my lip liner, but then I've got four lipsticks I don't much to use. But to line my lips, I'm taking Tootsie Lip Liner from Colourpop. These are such amazing lip liners, like for real. Hi, I'm gonna put a colour pop one on. This is she's bad. She bad. It's like a light mood, and I love the formula of these also. Hmm. I wanted it more like concealer. I'll put a bit of cookie on, even though it's a bit darker. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. So, guys. So, <laughs> I hurt myself. So, guys, that is the finished makeup look. I'm actually really happy with how it came out. Really happy. I actually really love Helene's glitters and eyeshadows and stuff. So, yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next one. Bye, guys.